Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, part seven of twelve of our MDT 2013 deploying Windows 8.1 little mini series that I got I'm doing for you guys. And today is all about customizing our start screen with our task sequence. So the first thing that we need to do, or what I normally do, is within my MDT server, I like to create a folder where I'm gonna drop all my customization stuff like my batch files, my virtue scripts, uh, everything, just my fonts, anything that it's customizable that I'm doing on my own and I need the task sequence to call it out during the deployment, this is where I'm gonna drop it. So uh, let's go into the C drive and deployment share and inside the folder of scripts, I like to call, I like to actually create a folder in here and you can give it whatever name you want, but I'm gonna call it BTNHD. And this is where I'm gonna drop all my customizable stuff. So I have an actual reference machine, a Windows 8.1 reference machine. Uh, this is the machine, this is where you're gonna do all your customization, your tweaking, and then, again, this is only your reference machine. So let's get started, let's customize our start screen. So I'm gonna go inside the start screen. And for here, uh, let's say I want a photo on this side. I want a calendar to be here, but I want this to be, uh, let's say medium. And uh, I want the finance stuff to be in its own little section. Uh, Skype is very important, so let's make Skype a little bigger. Uh, again, I'm just customizing it in all different ways. Internet Explorer should come over here because it's very important. Reading list is not too much, not too important to me, but uh, let's make it small. Uh, again, you could customize this the way that you want it, all right, guys? Th what I'm showing you is only for domain accounts, okay? Uh, it's not gonna work for local accounts. So that means your machine, your Windows 8.1 machine needs to be part of an Active Directory or a domain controller for this to work. So again, I make I'm making modifications. Uh, let's make uh, let's make this guy. I just turned it off. I turned the star off. Uh, let's go over here. Let's resize this. Let's make this large. But I want the food over here. Uh, so again, I'm just customizing this stuff like crazy. Okay, so once you customize everything within your star screen, I want you guys to go to Windows. PowerShell just right type in Windows PowerShell and you want to right click and you want to run it as an administrator So let's run it as an administrator hit yes, and before we even start let's right click on the desktop and create a nice little folder And the folder is where you're gonna drop this custom layout uh, So let's go to let's give it a name. Let's call it uh, layout real short and simple right layout and I'm gonna go inside the folder to the address bar and I'm just gonna copy the address because I'm gonna be needing it pretty soon. So within your PowerShell command, I normally like to do a CD space backslash just to get me into the C prompt and do a CLS to clear it out. And the command that you guys want to do to capture all that modification that we did on the start, start screen is actually export dash start layout space as bin and then you want to do a parameter of path and the path is where you're going to drop this uh, custom layout and then you're gonna do another backslash and then you're gonna give it a name so what we're gonna do is apps folder layout dot b i n and we're gonna hit enter so let's go inside our folder and this is our customization file so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go inside my um, deployment share and I'm gonna drop it in there because I want to test this out guys I want to test this out with you guys so let's get into our share okay so let's authenticate it so we need to log in again this reference machine is not part of our domain controller or part of Active Directory at all so I need to authenticate it, make sure I got the right password. There we go. And I'm gonna drop this custom layout of our start screen inside that folder that we created inside deployment share. And let's just drop it in there. 
Because what's going to happen, guys, I'm going to revert my virtual machine into a stable, clean state, meaning uh, this folder is not going to exist. And then I'm going to add this virtual machine within my domain controller. Awesome. So let's do it. So let's take, let's uh, close this PowerShell up. I am going to go into my virtual machine and I am going to go into my snapshot and stable and clean and let's revert it back to a clean state. All right guys, and we are back. Again, I reverted back my virtual machine, my reference machine back to a clean state. I don't have that folder anymore. Uh, if I, we go into our start screen, it's back to normal, right? Great. So let's go back into our desktop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push out our custom layout to this machine. And again, let me just keep you guys in mind that the custom layout that we did for our start screen would not work automatically. Again, it's only going to work for machines that are part of an Active Directory. Okay, for only domain users. When they log in for the first time into their machine, that's when the layout will work. Okay, guys? So I'm gonna do a Windows R and I am gonna get into our share. And uh, there we go, that is the share. Okay, so let's authenticate it. Again, this reference machine is not part of our domain. It's it's not even part of our network. We have to make it part of our network for it to start talking to everything. So uh, make sure you type in the right password. And there we go. Let's go into our deployment share, our custom folder. And I'm just gonna create a folder and call it layout again. Keep everything nice and consistent. And I'm going to just drag and drop inside that folder. Hit okay. And now I got a copy of our custom start screen local onto our machine again you're probably saying why are we doing this we're doing this because we need to test this out before we put it into our mdt task sequence okay you don't want to find out at the very end when you're deploying your image and all of a sudden you get a problem you get an error you, you know the start screen is not it's not working the way you want it right so what you want to do is well let's go into our start screen and again type in windows powershell and we need to run PowerShell as an administrator. So uh, right click on it and run as an administrator. And we're gonna hit yes on that. And let's bring the window right next to our folder. And what we're gonna do, like always, this is something that I like to do a lot, uh, CD backslash, and I'm going to do a uh, CLS command to clear it out. I don't know why I normally do this, but it's just a bad habit of mine that I like doing and uh, let it clear it out and uh, now the command to import this custom layout to your machine is going to be import dash start layout with a parameter of layout path and then give it the location okay this is what we're going to be doing pretty soon plus the location and the name of the file so i'm just going to copy all this and I'm just gonna paste it. Now the next thing that you wanna do is another parameter and the parameter is gonna be mount path C colon backslash and just hit enter. That's it. Now you're probably saying to yourself, well let's go to the star screen. Yeah, let's go to the star screen. Not, nothing's there. Let's reboot the machine. It's not gonna work guys. Again, this custom Start screen is only going to work for domain users. So let, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our computer manager. We're going to go into this PC. And we're going to go to computer. And we're going to go to system properties. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to change settings. We're going to change it. And I'm going to add this machine into my domain controller. So let's add it to our domain controller. And once it reboots, we're going to see what happens. I'm going to log in as a domain user into this reference machine. And I'm going to show you guys that our custom startup screen did work. If it works, that means let's get into our MDT server and customize our task sequence for it to be deployed. So let me uh, authenticate this. Hit enter. And welcome to bjtech.edu domain. Press OK. OK close it and let's restart our virtual machine all right guys we are back so let's uh get into our machine 
uh, again, I want to log in into the local account. Uh, I did add this into my domain controller on my active directory. I'm going to show you guys that I did. So let's go into my NDT server because my NDT server is everything. You know, it's my DNS, my DHCP, my domain controller is not the best practice, but again, it's quick and easy and dirty for me. So let's get into Active Directory. I want to show you guys that uh, within the computer node, uh, let's refresh it. Uh, there goes BJ Win8, which is the actual name of this guy right here. So that's awesome. Let's get back into this. And I'm logged in locally. This is a local account. And the start screen is not the way that we modified it with the layout that we, you know, import, export it actually, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna send a control alt delete into this machine and I'm gonna sign out. And I'm gonna log in as a domain user on this virtual machine. So I'm gonna go other user. And as you can see, it's gonna sign in into BJ Tech, which is my domain. And I'm gonna log in as my administrative account of my active directory. And if everything goes well, my start screen should look like that craziness that we customized to, right guys? All right, guys, so we are logged in into our domain user. So let's see what happens when I click on that start button. Let's cross our fingers and let there you go, guys. That craziness that we did, we moved around all kinds of gibberish around. Super excited. So, what's the next step? The next step, let's go into our MDT server and customize that tie seek to do it automatically for us during deployment time. Okay guys? All right guys, so now we're inside our MDT server, so it's time for us to create and modify our task sequence to deploy our custom start screen. To do this, before you do anything to your MDT server, uh, you need to actually go into your Windows, and uh, let's go to Windows PowerShell. Love my PowerShell. I want you to open up your Windows PowerShell ISE, right click on it, and you want to run it as an administrator. Okay, so within your nice little united1.ps1 file, we're going to type in import dash start layout. Start layout. Space dash, the parameter is going to be uh, layout. path now I'm gonna close this right here now the path that you want needs to be a UNC path it can't be a C drive or the D drive so I want to do is in my desktop I'm gonna do a uh, command R and I needed to get into my MDT service so I'm gonna do C dollar sign deployment share let's go into scripts folder and my custom folder which is the BTN HD and I need to actually get the name of our custom start screen layout. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it here. This is probably, it looks a little familiar on what we did on actually importing it into our reference machine before we added it to our domain controller, right? And from here, the last parameter would be mount path C, oh, and there we go. So this is this is the command right here, guys. So all you have to do is save this particular file inside your uh, custom folder that we created earlier. So I'm gonna do is uh, file, save as. And from here, let's go into our deployment share folder, go into scripts folder, btnhd, and within this particular folder, let's give it a name, let's go custom start screen it's all up to you all right guys and I am going to actually copy this because I'm gonna be needing that pretty soon 
and we're gonna hit save and we're gonna close our PowerShell ISE and let's get into our MDT server. All right guys, so go inside your task sequence node and locate your task sequence. And I'm gonna do it on my 64-bit one because that's the one we're gonna actually finally deploy at the very end. So let's double click on it. And we wanna go into our task sequence tab. And within that task sequence tab, I like to drop everything inside our custom task node, which is already there for you. Uh, we wanna go into add. And from there, we want to actually do a run PowerShell script. And give it a name. This is really up to you what you want to do. So I'm going to do customize uh, start screen, right? Because that's what we're doing. Now, the PowerShell command that you want is going to be like this percent sign script root percent sign. So automatically, this variable is going to go inside our deployment share script folder. And now we need to tell it where is this particular uh, PowerShell command or script that we want to run, right? So we're going to do a backslash btnhd, our folder, our custom folder. And it's going to be custom start screen.ps1. All right, guys. So let's go inside that folder, computer right here deployment share scripts btnhd and this is our this is it right here guys all right awesome make sure that you spell script right so it's a c r i p t okay awesome and that's it guys you hit apply uh that x is going to change to a check mark telling you it's okay and if you want you go to options and continue an error if you do receive an error it will continue it, the, it won't fail so that's always a plus i kind of recommend this if you're doing custom scripts during deployment time you don't want it to error out and then it will start the deployment so just check this off just for like you know just like a it's like a safe net and uh that's it guys that is how you create a custom start screen and use task you know use your mdt task sequence to deploy again at the very end episode not episode but part 12 or 12 when we finally push out our custom uh image to an actual machine we're gonna see everything in action so again hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a long one but it was really juicy we did a powershell we added a windows 8.12 active directory we tested our custom start screen. We saw how it worked. We did so much. It is crazy. Again, leave your comments below. Hit that like button because the more likes that I get on these videos, the faster that I will do these videos for you guys. And I catch you guys on the next part. Peace out.